What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, let's uh, head on out. First thing is first. Can I hit it? You cannot hit it. I don't see any, um, yeah, I don't see any interaction with that, so. We're going back to the teleport tower. I wonder, hang on though. I can't very well just look at it and be like, nope, nothing there. That's not, no, no, no. I'm wondering, one, that building right there looks kind of unique. And two, I'm wondering if I can jump and get on top of it. That's just the Erd tree. No, there's a door. Look at it, right there. There's a door that I can enter. Hmm. You know what? It might be that there's like a special event or something that I gotta do, and then it makes that thing like sit down so I can climb inside of it. Because there was just nothing but uh, blood puddles from people jumping off that cliff. So that tells me that trying to cliff dive to get to it probably isn't the best idea. That dick. Last time I took one of these, it was not a good time at all. I also have uh, a lot of runes on the line. Probably not the brightest move. Snared in a transporter trap. Where does it take me? Lenendale, the royal capital. Whoa! Whoa! Bro! Oh my goodness! Dude, this map is so much fucking bigger than I thought. Holy shit! Holy shit! I was like, oh, you know, well, that's the south region, like, in the back of my head. I was like, there's a region. I'm like, man, hmm, map's kind of small, you know. Oh, well, I thought it was a little bit bigger. And then it's just like, hey, actually, let's just double the size of the landmass. Oh, my God. I do not belong here at all. I can tell you that without a doubt. Uh, I want to have a shield ready. Super far north. Didn't they say that the the stake of um, divine bridge? Let me level up. Gotta pump that endurance up. Divine bridge. I just want. I just want to take like a peek, just a little peek. Oh my god. I'm gonna try and kill this thing, but like, look at the damage I'm doing, and look at how little his health moves. I'm 
dead. If he swings, I'm dead. Like, I was doing 800 damage swings, and I, I barely tickled that man. That thing's gotta have, like, 20,000 health. All the more reason I should kill it. Think of the souls. That dude respawns, that's a that's a decent farm. The blessed dew talisman, that sounds very nice. What does it do? Slowly restores HP, bro. That might be worth sending people here early on, just cause like we can come here and snatch that and then leave. That sends me probably to the big boy Erd tree. Or the Colosseum where stuff will murder me. The stagger on this hammer is honestly insane. That's like I think the one thing that keeps me being like, well, I should keep using it. Oh wait. I can't even call this up here. Yeah, so I, I don't belong here at all. Um, God, so far. I feel like that's like the end. Like, oh this? Yeah, well you come here when you're getting ready to finish the game. So anyway, back to the ramparts. We're gonna make our way to Castle Morn. Finish the south and we'll make our way north. Uh, Map-wise, okay, so I can go in either direction just to kind of scope things out, uh, see if there are any dungeons along the walls. Like, I'm so torn, because, like, this thing does pack a wallop. I don't think there's a stake. If there's a stake, there's probably an invasion or a fight or something about to happen. Um... I, I doubt there are many weapons that are able to, you know, two charged heavy attacks, knock down the giant, and then murder it. But, God, the range on it is so poor, man. The Eye of Yalog. I haven't found those before. There's a big old fire over here. Where are we at? I 
I'm here to cure what ails you. I am a cleric, and I bring with me a cure-all. Doesn't matter what's wrong with you. Diabetes. Broken leg. Madness. My patented technique of smash will clear up that problem. It was one hit from smash and you won't be worried about that problem anymore because you'll be dead. Of a weird area, you know, it's not really. I mean, it's some. Oh, go away. There's just some stuff here to kill, but like. I don't know. No, there's no boss or. I don't know. It feels, it feels like I'm overlooking something. Let me. Maybe this village wraps. Flame of Frenzy. And a sacred tear. Kalu Baptismal Church, but this isn't part of that village. It's just a nice little connecting area. See, this is why you gotta, you can't, you can't ever be like, oh, I explored it all. Because it's like, just, you know, I thought I explored everything. And, you know, we did that, we did that, and just right here, just right here, a whole, whole area of, of stuff. And another make your Estus stronger item. Like, that's the one thing that I think has me concerned from, like, a walkthrough perspective. There's so many just, like, you know, little areas like that. Where it's like, oh, here's something cool that, you know, you did not know about. And, um, you know, obviously... I don't want to forget anything in the walkthrough, so it's like, I need to you know, figure it all out. Though I do know the walkthrough is going to be focused mainly on um, the stuff you need to like get platinum. Because there's just, there's so much to do and so much in this game um, that I think like a true 100%, it would, it just, you know, it would take too long. They're talking about every, you know, oh, hey, you go to this village and you can kill these guys over here and you can go do this over here. Like, you know, I'm going to talk about, oh, you know, this is where you get... Flames of Frenzy is over here, and a thing to increase your Estus is over here. Oh, you little shit. You're starting to piss me off. Where'd it go? I think you gotta sneak up on it.
That'll work. Oh, I gotta time it right. What? Little shit. Running around like that. Which that reminds me, where was that octopus? I don't remember. I remember fighting the, the octopus earlier. And I feel like there was one of those things, but I don't feel like I got an item from it. It's hard to say. What's that? Just be decorative. Okay, there's like a swamp area down here. Let's go check that out and then we'll make our way towards the castle. Because I don't even remember where that octopus was. Boys and crabs. So I guess you're immune to um, the poison of swamps on your mouth. That's nice. Oh! What time is it? Uh, damn. I need to get some lunch. Remember the red jellyfish? Let's see. Crazy to think I'm only level 40. We got on time. 20 minutes and we're just now reaching Castle Morn. You know what? I wonder. So we start here. Right here in the gate front is where we find the thing. I wonder if all the enemies at the Bridge of Sacrifice, if that's where I find the map for the zone. And you know what? I'm really curious. So let's... Instead of starting the castle, um, I want to go check a couple areas that I kind of just zipped through for the map.
it's not here. But there's that area that's just up ahead that had lots of dudes. And I think this is the blind maiden. Let's give her the eyes. I I fear for father's life. The servants are full of wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. Please, when my soul wishes that he escape, please. Then please, take this. Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle. I'm glad I came back here. She is not the... Not the blind person that I was supposed to get a thing for. Because I'm trying to follow the logic of the first zone, which would be that a map... The map should be along the standard path that you run near, like, an encampment. I think that's it. Is that it right there? That's it. Weeping Peninsula. Map found. Oh, thank God. Okay, I can see stuff. So I can see the little swamp. Hour of Return. The Merchant Shack. I think this little puddle was where those guys were that had that item I was talking about. Minor Erd Tree. Ailing Village with the church. Hmm. This looks suspicious. I want to go there. And I also want to go here. I feel like one might be a church or something. Oh no, it's just this down thing? That's it? Oh, a big ass object. Taking up a lot of space on the map. Oh wow. Oh wow. Um, what about... About three. Jail. It looks like a little encampment that was destroyed. So there might be something over there. Tombs word ruins. Yes, indeed, there is. dungeon or is this just like a quick and dirty oh boy wow
Get off of me, rat. Fuck. Damn, bro. A bunch of bitches down here. You know what, now would be an excellent time to test out. Yeah, there we go. It's like the perfect amount of light. No trap ahead. A winged scythe, that sounds spicy. Deals holy damage. Jump and imbue the wing blade with an armament of light and deliver a slashing attack. It impedes recovery using Flask of Tears. And it's 1624, so a Dex Faith weapon. That's pretty neat. Um, no, wait, 161624. Oh, shit. And it causes blood loss buildup and does split holy physical. This could be really good. My dex isn't that far off. This might be something to work towards. Uh, so, I got that. Da, da, da. What is down there? That looks like a swampy area full of stuff. I see another thing. Return to our home bathed in rays of gold. Wait, oh, it's over there? Oh, there it is, the tower. Finally, I can return to our home. Bathed in rays of gold. What are up with these dudes? These guys look... second I thought that thing was like stopping and like letting me inside but which bane ruins I don't know what you are but you gotta die Took one second of fighting that thing to know that was going to be a big no from me. Shit, I'm poisoned. Well, that's okay. We can still get inside and explore this. Shard. Seemed like a merchant. A little bit uh, glitchy on the outfit there. Frothing degenerates.
Whoa, 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 bro. Holy shit. That dude decided to become a human Beyblade. It'll do no good. I hey, swear. is that the sorcery lady from the start? Let me... I don't want your death, lady. I'm trying to free you. Sorcerer Selen. Hang on. Maybe I need to... Uh, I might have fucked this up. I mean, I killed the thing that was up here. I think I've killed... Oh no, there's a couple of these guys left. I mean, it's possible that I had to kill, like, all of the stuff here before she would talk to me, but that might be too late since I've gone and aggroed her. I mean, I, I don't know, I knew it was a bad idea to start swinging at her, but I thought, hey, maybe I gotta, like, hit the shackles. Well, let's leave her alive. There there might be a sin forgiveness mechanism in the game. And I don't want to just go willy-nilly killing people. Alright, um, last thing, we're going to run over to that little swampy icon, and I want to see if that... if there's still a glowing orb in the water that I missed. And if so, we'll kill it. And if not, I'm going to wrap up. <clears throat> Your boy's going to get something to eat. And then we are going to tackle Castle Morn, which will probably be filled with loops and getting lost, because that seems to be the theme anytime I go to tackle a new area. Just a get health back guy? It is. Oh, well, that's not as important as I thought. Come on, Lane Octopus. I'm trying to fast travel here. It's the dragonfly now, not the Lane Octopus. Smashing. There we go. Alright, so we're going to wrap up Castle Morn in the next part. Y'all stay tuned, and I will catch you soon with some more.